Oncology.tv here at ASH 2013 with Dr. James George from the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center. Thanks for being with us, sir. Thank you. So we could spend five minutes singing Boomer Sooner. Uh, we, could, uh, we could do a lot of things, but you here, um, during football season, you have an event that people have to buy tickets for, so you're kind of competing against your own team. No, I'm not competing. They're, uh, they're competing today, and I'll compete tomorrow. <laughs> What, what is your presentation tomorrow? Uh, the presentation is titled uh, Thrombotic Thrombocytopenic Purpur, or TTP. It's really one of a number of disorders that go by a generic name, thrombotic for the disorder. It's small clots and small blood vessels. Microangiopathy is therefore the descriptive name, TMA. It can be a kidney infection, it can be complement, it can be an infectious problem. Um, and TTP is part of that syndrome, um, part, of, uh, part of the diseases that doctors are um, afraid of when they make the diagnosis because it can progress so rapidly and you have to intervene with treatment. So we're going to talk about the approach to patients, who needs treatment, which treatment do they need. What do you want people who, who aren't going to be there, people who are watching this video, what would you like them to take away from it? I think the, the main message that I'll say is that the diagnosis is not a um, immediately precise diagnosis. This is not cancer with a biopsy. It's not uh, even leukemia with blood counts that are diagnostic. Um, the two key features are that the platelet count is low, the hemoglobin is low because of destruction of the red cells. You can see the evidence of destruction when you look through the microscope. And those two things without another apparent cause, that's all you need to make the diagnosis of TTP. But there's so many other things that can cause this, infections, cancer, uh, pregnancy-related complications. So there's a diagnostic issue that you have to solve, and you have to solve it immediately, because if TTP is the right diagnosis, you have to call the blood services, you have to initiate this complex treatment called plasma exchange. Well, Dr. George, you're focused on the, uh, the platelets and the benign, you said, and you really feel like that's the future. Um, why do you say that? Um, well, I'm afraid it's not the future. That's probably why I say that. Uh, it seems, as you can see from this meeting, uh, within hematology, the um, majority of major advances have been in the cures of patients with malignant disorders, beginning decades ago with children with acute leukemia, now with all forms of leukemia, lymphoma, with uh, patients with myeloma and remissions that seem to last forever with transplant, with new technology. Um, the issues of the non-malignant hematology are um, varied. Uh, they're diagnostic problems. Um, there's no targeted therapies for most of these. Um, they're not the focus of many hematologists' careers. Um, and most hematologists are also oncologists, so it's the solid tumors even more than the leukemias that take up their life, their profession. So what we want to be sure is that the expertise we've gained over the decades in management of platelet disorders, anemias, uh, benign white cell disorders, clotting disorders, bleeding disorders, isn't lost for the profession. And that's part of one of ASH's goals, is to make sure that this type of training is uh, continued to be excellent. Dr. George, I'd be remiss if I let you go before we had you share your little epiphany last night about your first ASH meeting. Um, well, this was a meeting uh, last night. It was a dinner meeting. It was because I had been chair of a committee and I was uh, moving off, rotating off the committee. And uh, somebody asked me, um, what was the first ASH meeting that you ever went to? Um, and I truly had not thought about that this year as an anniversary type thing. But uh, my first uh, ASH meeting was uh, in Washington, D.C. 
I was right after my internship. I'd been drafted into the Army, like we were all drafted into the Army at that time. I was sent to Walter Reed, and it was 1963. That adds up to 50 years. Uh, people were impressed. Uh, I was impressed. Um, <laughs> I would be too. Um, not everybody at the table was born when I was uh, going to the first <laughs> ASH meeting. Um, but okay, I could take it. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Well, thanks for joining us. We wish you 50 more. We'll catch you here in uh, 2063. Beautiful. All right. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Mm -hmm. God bless. Bye.